Okay, here's my Tesla under glass. Here's under the hood. I have I3, a pack of I3 batteries underneath here. Uh, vacuum pump, of course, the vacuum pump is down. Down in there, vacuum switch. Volt DC to DC converter. Thunderstruck EVCC to run the converter. I don't use those anymore because I designed my own, so I'm doing that. Uh, okay, so that's under the hood. That's, it's got like 34 uh, kilowatts of battery because it's got late model i3 batteries. So here's the back. Here's the uh, under glass part, I guess. So that's a Gen 2 charger, um, which works really well. BCU 200 from AEM. That's the uh, inverter back here. This is a oil pump gauge for uh, the not pressurizing, but putting oil into the uh, Tesla gearbox since I cut it in half to run a uh, straight back to the Ford differential, which I'll show you in a second here. Tesla under glass. I hope Hemi under glass doesn't care about that. I love the Hemi under glass. That was awesome. So anyway, so here is... Let me get a better shot. Oh, there you go. So that's the uh, Tesla uh, base Model S motor in there. Uh, that's just a vent on top for that. There's my setup in there for it to connect directly to the uh, Ford uh, 2019 Ford independent suspension uh, rear differential. It's got three... Uh, I think 358 gears in it, 354, 352. I can't remember right now. But anyway, it's really quick as far as that goes. I'll try to get a picture here. I'm going to go around and see if I can get a picture of the... Uh... It's starting to rain again here. So, oh, let me get on this side. That might be better. As you can see, there's that... Uh round gear box down there that's my bearing box that holds everything uh, I had actually made a foundry to be able to make that piece so I actually took aluminum that was uh, part of the uh, Tesla motor and actually melted it down and poured my own uh, sand casting to make that uh, bearing mount in front there so a lot of work but it was fun so anyway, that's it. I got to clean this wiring up in this thing too, just because uh, I hate it when it looks like that. But that's what I, how I got it back from AEM because they were doing a lot of stuff for it, and I had to get it out of there really quick because um, we need some room. So there it is. There's my awesome license plates for these things. Tesla powered. RoadToCycleEV.com. So there's the rabbit. Oh. And, what's up, Doc? Of course, it's a rabbit. So, there you go. Oh, it's got the full AEM dash in it, too. And the, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not showing you guys a lot of stuff. It's got the full big AEM dash with uh, all the settings, all the good stuff. And uh, push buttons for it, for, uh, you know, forward reverse drive and all that good stuff. But that's it. You know, just a little bit crazy. This thing is just a little bit out of control, but a lot of fun. All right, so there's there's the silly rabbit for you guys. All right. Oh, I got fender flares coming for it, so I'll get that all straight so it looks a lot better. Because that's just that's just ridiculous. Although it does look cool with big white tires and a front wheel drive rabbit. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for coming by and uh, taking the time. Bye.